What's up, everybody? Welcome back once again to the Kind of Funny Podcast. I'm your host, alongside the best baby blues in all of San Francisco. Forbes, 30 under 30, and the man with a chain that would break normal human beings, Mr. Tim Geddes. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. A couple uh, quick things I want to get out of the way. The show looks a little bit different today. Different cast than expected, than planned. We had a couple uh, you know, situations going on. So we're like, we got to adapt. We got to make things happen. Don't give them anything. They don't need you to know, know anything. give them nothing. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't, was here for a reason. That's yeah. Right. Don't, but for all they know, we have Snowbike Mike joining us today. The Tsar of Nar, the mm-hmm. master of disaster. Snowbike Mike, how you doing? Today. Stand up. Stand, are we standing I up already? You. Yeah, yeah. Give yeah. some of that love right there. Come on, big dog. God damn, I missed you on your birthday. Also, I just wanted to show off these sweet candied yams on the Mike. one time to everybody. You know what I mean? Mike, I got a question for you, bro. It's Thanksgiving in January because I didn't know you were going to bring those candy yams oh, today. Tim, did you think these yams were going to be served up on the table to you today? No. I but they're here now. I, I, I want everyone to know that like going into this, we had to make some game time decisions. Who's on the show? How are we going to do this? What set are we using? Yep. And uh, I asked Mike, are you down to be on the show? Would love to have your energy. He's like, of course, of course. He's like, but... I don't know if I can wear what I'm wearing. I'm like, yes, you can wear what you're wearing. And then he goes away. Meanwhile, I have a conversation with Barrett. I'm like, you know what? Let's just use the desk. It'll be fine. It'll be cool. An hour passes, and Mike's stoked to get on the set. And he's, he's like, we're not using that, are we? We're like, yeah, we're using it. He's like, how am I going to show off the yams? <laughs> and it's like, Mike, how did you go from being self-conscious about yep, the outfit yep, yep. to wanting to show off your yams so much? He wants that to show Nick, the yams. The first thing that happens when Nick walks in, mm-hmm. you guys start talking about the yams. And all of a sudden, Nick goes, I'll bring the sweet potatoes. You bring the yams. Yeah. And it's like, this is where we're He's going to bring the tuna casserole. Oh, go, the green man, bean casserole. Right. Tuna casserole. I missed you. It's right. And just to set the stage beforehand, mm-hmm. just so you know, a little behind the curtain, all I had on was... Teal blue Air Jordans that were down to my shins yeah. and a bright red turtleneck. And I looked mm-hmm. at him and I said, I don't think this is podcast appropriate. And he said, you'd be fine. And the only other clothes that I had was my workout clothes for tonight. And so that's why you get these sweet, sweet yams. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, Mike. Uh-huh. Obviously, you've been, you've been progressing nicely as a kind of funny host. Thank you. Uh, you you've been growing as an artist and a host across the board. <laughs> and I'll, I'm just going to say oh, it. Nice. I'm going to say what everyone else is thinking, what's, 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 what's on the tip of our tongues, the tip of our lips. When are you going to just call it and be the shorts guy? Oh, when are you going to just say, when are you just going to say, screw it, I'm not wearing pants ever again, and just own the shorts? You know, for the past four months, I've worn jeans every single day into this. You <laughs> felt you I've felt the pressure to wear the jeans. Effort to do that. Such a- but just why? <laughs> Greg refers to me as the shorts guy. So you like, are the shorts But that's okay. I just feel yeah, like yeah. if you want to, like, listen, this is not, I don't know if you, everyone look around. Uh-huh. Everyone look, look to around. your right. Look around. Are we in a corporate accounting firm right now? Do we work for a cor- big corporation, USA? Mm. Big no. shorts. Big shorts? No, no, bro. We work for the. We, we, we have a thing called a kind of funny podcast. <laughs> that could be whatever the hell we want it to be. There <laughs> yeah, it is. we do. Ladies and gentlemen, we're each and every week four, sometimes three best friends gather around this table, each bringing <laughs> topics for your amusement. Mm-hmm. And I got a great topic uh, for the show this week. I, I'm actually really, really glad it worked out this way. Yeah. Because yeah. I haven't seen you all weekend. And I had the. I was giving you updates. All it's time. Maverick and Goose not being together. It, you know it's, what I mean? It's, 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 it's tough. I get it. It's unbelievable. I totally get it's it. tough. And even more so than that, I had the most snowbike Mike oh. weekends I have ever had in my life. In yeah. fact, I think that if you wrote a playbook on how to go up to the snow and mm-hmm. have a fun time, that it, I would have followed damn near every single possible step. He wants to be that. like Mike. You absolutely. I. I, I mean, I was. Te- I was texting you, and you were like, "You're doing it so right. You're doing it so right." So I wanted. I want to do a deep dive into. Okay. That, okay. Uh, in a little bit, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Though before we do that, a couple housekeeping things. Friday, this Friday, the twentieth of January, we are celebrating. Our Independence Day, our anniversary. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're finally doing the KF Day stream. We're going to start at 10 a.m. on twitch.tv slash games. Also on YouTube. Please head over there. Come support us. How long are we going to go, Mike? As long as you want it, baby. As long as you want it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be kind of a subathon, marathon kind of fun thing. We're going to play all sorts of fun games. Maybe we're going back in the Duffy of Mario with Tim. Yes. I'm not quite sure. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Am maybe I we're maybe? Gonna place it. Yeah. I'll just say yes. Yeah, we're yeah, doing we it, are. baby. We are. That's yeah, we are set. absolutely doing that. Now, are we doing a lot of the streaming in this room yeah. on the big yeah, set? Are we about hard. to have some Finally. fun, guys? Hard in the yard. Yeah, we are hard in the yard. Mm-hmm. I like that. We're going to play some Icarus. We're going to play some VR, maybe. Yeah, we're going to get VR. The VR golf. Not, not VR golf. VR mini golf, right? Mini golf, yeah. Well, That's going to be super duper A little bit fun. better. You know, Andy really wanted us to hit the links. It's like, Andy, we're not links boys. You know what I mean? You We're know, mini golf fun shenanigans, boys. We could be links, boys, though. You think so? Yeah, I definitely think so. In fact, as everyone knows, we're trying to hit our goals on Twitch. If you guys help us hit those goals, we 
we're going to actually go to a real golf course and hit balls. Mm -hmm. And does Kevin Coelho really want to come with us? He yes. Does. Have we told him no every single time? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll keep stringing along. We'll probably bring him. But uh, <laughs> on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, we got a couple fun shows, a couple episodes of things dropping. Uh, Tim, what do we got? What do I'll we got? Tell you people? all about it. One Ooh. cool thing, thanks to your support over on patreon.com slash kind of funny during our uh, spare bedroom launch stream. One of the things that y'all funded was the kind of anime series. It's going to be quarterly, four episodes this year. The first episode is live. It's Snowbike Mike and Barrett Courtney going through all of this season's latest anime. Um, you can check that out live right now on the Screencast podcast feed or youtube.com slash kind of funny. And speaking of those two ex same exact places, each and every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific. We will be live on youtube.com slash kind of funny and then later on YouTube or search your favorite podcast services for kind of funny screencast will be right there for you. We're doing The Last of Us, HBO's The Last of Us breakdowns. Um, the first episode is live now. That is me, Blessing, and Greg going through what we thought, all the hidden stuff that you might have missed, all the, 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 the game lore and all that stuff of The Last of Us. Definitely check it out. The set looks amazing. The intro is utterly fantastic. Oh. Shout out to Carter Hurl and Cameron uh, Kennedy for all of that. I love you all. So check out that show. It's freaking cool as hell. Very excited to watch that. I did not watch it last night because that is one of the shows that I really want to uh, watch with my wife. She's like, is it going to be good? I'm like, I know it's going to be good. This is We're, we're knocking Nick, this one out of the park. I, I'm not, we're not going to go too far into this because you can go check out the screencast mm -hmm. or the breakdown for, mm -hmm. for more. But mm -hmm. like, I want to let you know. They didn't just do it. Like they, I am beside myself at how much they accomplished with this it's show. It's HBO, man. It's, oh, but it's... It's home box office. It's damn good. Yeah. It's home box office. It's home box office. Home box office. This is your regular TV. This is yeah. HBO. Yeah. Uh, Deliver. This might be the last great HBO show. We'll see what we'll happens. See. We'll we don't see. know. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's watching a half a show of me because they cancel it mid-episode. They take it off the fucking <laughs> Can you believe it? I text Nick. I go, yo. I finally listened to your recommendation. What? I'm me? loving Minx, right? I'm having a great time. I get to episode four. All of a sudden, Minx is gone. I can't even <laughs> can't watch even Minx. It. It's just gone off the platform. Yeah, Stars bought it, though. You can, you can bring it back with Stars. Yeah. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to our Patreon producers, of course, without you guys out there, guys and gals out there. None of this could possibly happen. So we're going to kick this off with names that I have not practiced, and I apologize right off the bat. Jay Kolbs, uh, Nathan Lamoth, Monica Boomenlag, DJ Kanto on Twitch, Trent Berry, James Hastings, Colin. Huguenel. Huguenel, thank oh. you. And Casey, Andrew, you guys are all awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. And uh, you know what? I'm going to dedicate Mike's right yam to you out there. Mikey, show him the yam. To you. Show him the yam. Hit, hit, him, him, with the the yam. hit him with the yam. Hit him with the yam. And I'd like to apologize if you're too. Yeah. Tim. I want you to get so my, my buddy. Thigh tat right here. Just bang, thigh tat right uh, Yeah, You're going to copy my thigh tat? <laughs> oh, I Barrett has a thigh tat. I, I want to do that. I, well, hold on. I forgot which one's on the thigh. The knife. He's a knife on his thigh. Oh, wow. That's really like, that's sexy, boy. Okay. You got a, a thigh tap. Can I put up okay. some suggestions for your thigh? Yeah, yeah. And then we can talk about what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. What do you and think? also, by the way, if you're watching this, uh, by the way, this episode is brought to you by <laughs> patreon.com slash kind of funny and patreon.com slash kind of funny games. We're going to talk about those a little bit later. But because all of our patrons are watching right now, I want to take some suggestions for what Mike should tattoo on his thighs in the live chat okay. right now. Throw them out there, guys, uh, because I have a great suggestion. What I want to see if anyone can outdo this. I want you to get a cougar. Oh. On your kneecap. Because my buddy's got a tiger and he only wears shredded jeans so you can see his kneecap. <laughs> and so when he walks, you see the tiger go, arr, arr, just a little Holy bit. Holy shit. It's pretty I, don't think I, I haven't heard a story that made me hate it and love it in, in yes, such it's, crazy it's degrees. Though, right? Exactly. Where I was like, I didn't like I was like, I don't like the tiger and the, the yeah. knee hole. Hate but it. see, hearing you go, arr, it's like, yeah, okay, maybe I'm in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Jules. Jules says, oh, no, not Jules. Uh, Hans Carter says a portrait of the pugs. One oh, that eight. would be okay. good. Yeah, Fine. but that's too nice. Like, I want something sexy. What Although Jules, yeah, Jules does have a fantastic uh, suggestion here. Say? Just the word bang. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, now Jules is getting where I'm at. I thought we'd just go typewriter text him, mm -hmm. and it just says, fuck you across the front. Fuck. Holy or shit. Real mean, you know You're not mean? that type of guy. I know. Okay, how about work harder? I mean, you don't need that reminder. You already got it. You already. So, do you want the word so that you can read it, or that so that others or can someone read it? else can read it? Hmm. <laughs> Mike, yeah. you say it that way. I don't like that. Mike is so comfortable with this fucking. Mike. I love it. Work this harder. Is, this is what this podcast <laughs> should be. Somebody else is reading that. The Lou says not a me. map of Tahoe, <laughs> a fighter not. jet. Says Anthony Corbett. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? Hey, what is it? <laughs> no. We're just, we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah, don't Nick. tell Nick because he'll do it. No, he'll do that. Just keep it's going. Like... Just keep going. 
I hate having to post this host this podcast. <laughs> I can't be part of the fun. There's always got to be an adult uh, in the room, and that's always got to be me. Yep. yep. Like, if you get this tattoo, I, I want to go with you. I want to watch because okay. I feel like you in a tattoo parlor would be just the, a, a, an epic fucking time. Specifically because I, just getting to the tattoo parlor, dealing with the appointments, all that stuff yeah. would be just hilarious to watch. I can't wait. I yeah. can't wait. Why don't you tell me about this weekend, though? Tell me right, about your so, ultimate snow bike mic weekend. It's my birthday weekend. Yep. Everyone. Okay, I'm turning 35. Happy 35th birthday. Thank you, everyone. Everyone put that on the Wikipedia. 35 years old today. Mm-hmm. Give or take eight years. Uh, not gonna, I had no plans for the birthday, right? We had a, it's, th- it's still storming in San Francisco. I'm mm-hmm. tired as shit. I got caught in all that Southwest Airlines bullshit over the holidays. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, you know what I want for my birthday, Tim? Hmm. What we always want. Nothing. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Just <laughs> please. leave me alone. Please. Can I just have a day mm-hmm. where nothing happens? Yeah. And why, when I mean nothing happens, I mean, I actually am like, do I go to Starbucks or not? That's oh, the damn. hardest decision oh, that I have. No, all Nick, day. I'm okay. right there with you. you I know? know what you're talking about because like there were days during the break where G had to look at me like, do you want to get Starbucks today? I was like, you know what? Not today. Mm-mm. This is my I just day. I want to sit here and do nothing. I want so much free time that I get so bored that I start getting anxious. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. That, that, so I'm thinking to myself, that's where my birthday week is going to go. Yeah. Right? And of course... Life throws you curveballs every once in a while. My buddy, who uh, one of my fellow comedians, a guy named Marty Cunney, hits me up and he goes, "Yep, we're doing a ski trip weekend up in Twain Heart. Mm-hmm. I would love for you to come. I got we got a cabin, we got we got a place for you to stay. You want to whip the dip? Come on up there and ski. That'd be great." Now, I go, I haven't skied in six years. It hasn't happened. It's dangerous okay. now. It's dangerous. I got bumped knee. <laughs> On that frail I body, be, it could be bad. <laughs> I might be a solid 15 pounds heavier than the last time <laughs> yep, I skied. Yep, yep, yep. I don't even know if my ski clothes fit anymore. And man, when I, when I brought these things out, I was like, what a blast in the past buying this shit 10 years ago yep, was. Yep, Fantastic. So I said, you know what? Say yes to it. What would Snowbike Mike do? That was the first thing. That was Hell yeah. What's right. the saying? What would he do? What's you the mantra? Thought, what would Tim Say do? yes. Oh, Tim would have stayed home. <laughs> Stay at home, bro. No way Tim would have got. By the way, <laughs> I'll get to the weather in a second. <laughs> But I think, what would Snowbike Mike do? Would he full fucking send it, or yeah. would he just stay home? And I think he would say yes to adventure. Another great thought. Who's at the door? Say okay, yes to adventure. Yes adventure. Right. That's what you want there. A little want, tamer right. than my other one. I like so that. You know, what see? was the other one? Bang my ass? What was? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> see, here's the worst Blow thing. Blow my back Nick, did, <laughs> Nick didn't get to hear the bad yeah, thing. No, I the questionable I thing. So he's like, I need to say something hey, worse. Just to make sure. What is it? What is it? I want you to know that when Tim got it and everybody started laughing, I was so Roger's mad. clearly on a delay because Roger just yeah. heard that, and you could hear him from the other room yeah. laughing. So you know we got him as well. Mm-hmm. We got him. We yeah. did get Roger. We did get Roger. I, I so Mike, it was like this. It was like this. Someone's knocking at the door. Yep. Someone's knocking at the door. I opened it up. Hey, I'm an adventurer. Would you like to say yes to me? Would you like to come out and hang out with me? And I thought, well, WWW was no Mike, Mike yep. too. And I said yes. I just said screw it. We're gonna birthday make it work. Adventure. I called my boss, Tim Gettys. I said, Tim, can I have a half day off? I my birthday my boss, on Friday. Tim, Gettys. Tim said no. <laughs> And then he was like, all right, fine. Uh, turns out we had to uh, move some stuff around anyway, so we didn't yep. have to do an interview or something like that. We're going to double them up next week. We're going to figure it all out. So me, my buddy Janesh, who also got invited, we drove up on Friday, went to REI, of course, just to see all the Subarus in San Francisco in one place. <laughs> just all of us. Yes, of course. <laughs> Literally. Every, everybody's there. It's right. <laughs> so it was like. My car, and then just a sea of gray super. Forsters, it was WRX, unbelievable. Everybody, there, it was right. unbelievable. Because Janesh was like, he's not, he's not a skier. He's like, am I gonna need pants? And I was like, dude, it is thirty-two degrees up there. Yeah, it's going to be snowing all weekend. It's Mike, like two feet of fresh powder. Oh, pow, pow, every pow, pow, mm-hmm. everywhere. Which I don't like because I'm not that good of a skier, and skiing through powder is fucking horrible. But I'm like, it's gonna be. I can't, I can't pass this up. So we get there, we get him the, we get him the gloves, we get him all that stuff. Finally, we get up there, and uh, Marty goes, "Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna go out to dinner, then we're gonna come back, and then we're going straight to the casino. Yeah, we are. And we're gonna start. We're gonna put a ton of money on blackjack. Woo! Get to the casino, right? And the first drink out of the gate. We've already been drinking white claws at the house, mm-hmm. right? First drink out of the gate." Six dollar white Russians. Oh, oh man, that's a choice. Now let me ask you guys. Break that down a little bit. Yeah, okay? yeah. 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 Six dollar yeah. white Russian. Like, what do you expect in there, Mike? Now you are, I would say, probably the most experienced out of any of us in terms of the location, Tahoe. Oh, yes. and the vibe over there, the casino uh-huh, drinks uh-huh. and all of this. Six dollar white Russian. What's that mean to you? Uh, that these guys are in for one hell of a night. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys yes. have made a choice. And uh-huh. it is a, if I was the bartender, I'd be like, oh, really, boys? That's right. And so. 
I'm glad you went down that $6 path. $6 white Russians, and we buy four or five of them because there's five of us. Um, look over, and the lady's like, okay. Now, casinos, obviously, mm-hmm. notorious for everything's measured, everything's metered, right? You know, They're making their money one way or the other. Yeah. She takes out this little one of those stupid guns. Oh. And goes, kick, kick, and it just squirts out a little bit of vodka and, like, a little bit of Kahlua. And then she takes out the carton of, like, heavy whipping cream oh, yeah. or whatever yeah. it is yeah. and pours it in. And it's at that point that all five of us were, like, we're all throwing up tonight. Correct. Because that's all been opened once. Yeah. And that was probably a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't checked that not in good. weeks. You know not that. Just good. sitting there. Yep. Meanwhile, there's an Eagles cover band happening behind us. And I'm like, <laughs> where the fuck am I right now, right? <laughs> Twain Hart, uh, California, I think, or maybe where I was in Nevada. I don't know what the fuck Twain Hart is. I think it's California. Um, go down it, right? I'm like, I'm a little hammered. Yep. Got to put some money on the blackjack table. Got to remember how to. Now, I'm sitting in the the, the first seat, which I hate sitting. Okay. I don't like being the first person dealt with because I fuck up everyone's shit. And then I get too drunk and I start making stupid decisions. And I did. Soft six comes after three drinks. And I look, I look at, I lock eyes with the guy across the table, the yes. big fucking bald dude. You let him know you're gonna fuck this guy. And man. he looks at me, and I was like, I, I go to pass, and he goes, "Don't you fucking." He's like, he goes, "Don't do it. Don't you fucking dare pass on a soft six. So I'm like, hit, hit. Ended up winning the hand. This guy's not happy with me the no, rest of the time. No, but I'm also not happy with this guy because earlier in the <laughs> night, he looks. He this okay. guy. This is what this guy does to me. He locks eyes with me, and he goes, hmm. goes on his hmm. phone. Oh, gets a picture of Jason Matsukas out. You know, the crazy guy with the fucking yeah, hair? Yeah. And he's flipping someone off and he just turns the phone toward me. So it's Jason Matsukas flipping me off and he goes, It's you. You look like this guy. And I'm like, That's wrong for so many reasons. So many levels. So many levels wrong. Yep. But I'm hammered. And I'm like, I already fucked this. Guy. I maybe like, what have is lost this, the kind of funny fucking subreddit. I don't know. I don't know. I may I might have also lost this guy two hundred dollars, so maybe he was mad at me. Got I don't know. It. I don't know okay. what's going yeah, on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, long story short, I ended up buying a, a, a lemon drop, and we ended up being homies. That was fun. Kept drinking. Everyone threw up that night. Yes. <laughs> of course. Of course. You're right. You're a fortune teller. Yeah. I'm digging through fucking, flash forward, 4 o'clock in the morning, digging through cabinets trying to find old 1980s Tums. Yep. I'm like, I'm so disgusting. My buddy Janesh just horking all over the fucking place. Oh, yeah. Because we, it was a mixture of beers, white Russians, white claws, maybe a couple bourbons on the rocks. It's, I don't know. And I'm not used to drinking this much anymore because that is out of practice. But it doesn't matter because I was like, I'm so hungover right now. That the only thing that could possibly make me feel better is some fresh pow pow to the face. Fresh pow. Yep. Some fresh pow, pow, pow. What would Snowbike Mike do? Would he wake his ass up, slam a breakfast, get out, drop a deuce, get out onto the <laughs> you gotta get, drop, get your rental, go a drop deuce. another deuce? <laughs> Good lord. And get out. And I'm happy to say though, I, I was like, I was a little reticent about getting out there and skiing again because after six years, I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I can still do this or not. I love that you, Nick, you're the only person I know, Nick, that could tell a story about you getting way too drunk at a casino. Yeah. And then you're you're like, what do I need to do next? Some fresh pow pow to the face. Yeah. And you're not talking about cocaine. No, 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 no. no, no, no there was no, no, no. Uh, surprisingly no cocaine this weekend. It was a yeah. very it was team surprising weekend. Hey, well, hey, I'm up there. Weekend. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. I'm in a cabin with five comedians. Okay. Many of Fair. whom are like have booked their Burning Man and Coachella tickets years in advance. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I'm not going to point fingers, but it's possible that someone had a box that just said drugs. Great. Weekend. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I made that up. Maybe that was 100% true. Uh, beautiful conditions. Mm-hmm. If by beautiful conditions, you like almost white out. Yes, it exactly. It was snowing on us so hard. Everything soaked through. Legit worried that I might have like have gotten some frostbite on my thumbs. <laughs> Uh, but we ended up having a great time, and I ended up kind of skiing with my boy Janish. Uh, he is not—he's not a great skier, so he was kind of—we were just doing blues and and, mm-hmm, uh, and, mm-hmm. and greens the whole day, just cruising around, stopping every fourth run to grab a little a little little marg. Oh, keep the cocktails, okay. going. keep it going, keep right. cocktails yeah, yeah. going. Hair of the dog. Uh huh. Um, ended up uh, finishing out the day, going home, making some chili and some cookies, and finally watching Always Sunny some in Philadelphia. Chili and cookies. Yep, Marty, my God buddy Marty made combo. homemade chili and and homemade cookies. What kind of cookies? Uh, chocolate chip cookies, just regular old chocolate chip oh, cookies. But what they a were mix. Not but you know that raisin? No, not oatmeal raisin though. That's too hard to make at night. I'm not <laughs> fucking around with oatmeal at night, dude. We gotta get because I don't want to eat that dough. I want to eat that chocolate chip dough. But yes, you know that feeling, Mike, when it's like you've been cold all day. Yep, you've been shredding all day. Oh, you might be the king of the mountain. You don't know the votes aren't in yet. And you come home and it's 80 degrees in the house and you just get mm-hmm. that shower and then it's everyone kicks it around the big couch. Because, you know, the cabins always have like 40 couches. Mm-hmm. You kick it around there. We watched a movie called Out Cold. Out Cold. That's why I got King of the Mountain. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. Out Cold. Yeah. Out Cold featuring Cisco? 
Uh, I don't think Cisco is in it that I recall. I was a little drunk watching. Is it, it like so the possible. teen no. movie from the late nineties? It is a remake of Casablanca on a on a mountain <laughs> with Jeremy London as oh. the lead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then, no, not the movie I was thinking about. Yeah, it is. I've never seen this film before. It is an odd movie. It's wild. But everyone wanted to watch it because we were, we were out there. Yeah. And I just thought this is a great weekend. It's one of the best birthdays I've ever had. The only thing that would have made it better is if I saw your beautiful face on that mountain snowboarding with me. So we're gonna, right we're gonna, I'm back in. I'm back in. You're back in, ready I to spread. I got I to get new goggles because my goggles literally okay. fell apart okay. on me because they were so wet. We got to get you real steezy goggles. Though. I got to get, well, I have, the, I have lone wolf goggles, bro. My goggles Ooh. have wolf, okay. space wolves with fucking howling into space, brother. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of dope. They're I was litty. thinking maybe we get some Oakleys or maybe some dragons, I want the Oakleys. you know what I mean? Here's what we need. First off, matching Oakleys. Oh, I like. I that. want the my buddy Travis had the Oakleys that are so big on your face. Yes, that's like they mine. look like a, they look like a, the the helmet of a Mig twenty nine. Yes, uh huh. A Mig nineteen, uh-huh. a Mig. That's what I want. Yes, I want. I want Love if that. I could full Cobra face shield, a Cobra oh, Commander like this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh huh. So we need to get. A, we need. But to then get what's to, the gear underneath? All black. Right now, gear right now is like olive green with like a khaki. Okay. And I'm not really feeling it, but the coat's really nice. So I'm thinking like maybe. I'll accentuate with just the nasty steez up top. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, because I'm just I'm also renting shit. I'm renting gear all the time. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. But I need better gloves because the gloves I was wearing were like I like to wear thin gloves when I ski. But man, I literally rang these things out. Could you be a mitten dude? Nick What's might, hot right Nick now might be kid? a mitten guy. People like mittens. People you like know, mittens right my now. My friend top. Brooke bought brought the mittens and she's uh-huh. like, I don't like these mittens mm. for skiing. Mm. It's easier for snowboarding because I don't think you have to use your hands as much. But for the poles and shit, I like to have my ditch. Okay, okay. So Digis. real quick, Digis. Nick, I do monster. I do want you to know that I have seen Out Cold. It is the movie that I was thinking about. Yes. I did not realize that it was a, a Casablanca remake. Um, oh, it's Cisco, very poor Casablanca. Cisco remake. was not in it, but okay. Cisco was in Snow Dogs. Snow Dogs. That's what that's I, what I, I was that's thinking about. That's what I was thinking about. So. I, uh, I I I can't. I'll say this. I can't not recommend Out Cold enough. It is just not. <laughs> okay. It is not a film that anyone ever needs to watch. Mm. It's odd. It is such a relic of its time, the yeah. early two thousands. Yep. Like it is the quintessential early two thousands movie. Yeah, and I'm shocked that I never saw it. I watched that movie at Kevin's house mm-hmm. in Kevin's room, and this was t- uh, two thousand one, something like that. So we were like little preteens, right? Yeah. yeah and yeah. this was when <laughs> Kevin f- first got his own room and was kind of allowed to do whatever he wanted with oh, it. God. Imagine what that looked. Imagine like. Imagine the a lot smell of um, that. So wires like Kevin, everywhere. The the only person in the world zero wire management that decided that he wanted his room to maximize his space. Oh, so boy. he was like, I'm not going to have a bed in my room. Um, so instead, there was like this. What do like, you do it in the space like, that you don't need the bed? Like parts of this are, are, working out? are perfectly accurate, and parts of this are just like to speed the story up. Fair enough. But there was a big asshole in the like top of his room that he put a mattress in. And his he would sleep up there. It was not a bunk. Yeah. It is not a thing. Yeah. It, like was a raccoon. Like a, it was a crawl space. It was a crawl space more than anything. <laughs> like but a, he would sleep like in sp- the crawl space. <laughs> Where do you sleep, Kevin? Oh, in that crawl space up there. And it's uh, this is accurate. And he'd have his and it was oh. it was a dope set. I mean, I, like I'm not talking shit. It was the coolest thing ever. At eleven years kid. old, it's cool. Yeah. Eleven years old. And he's up there. Yeah, yeah. But I remember watching it because I you guys know me. Imagine this. The Tim Gettys I am now and the Kevin Coelho he was then, we've only scaled. You get what I'm saying? We're the same people, same vibe together. Yeah. He wanted me to go up there with him so bad to just hang out and watch movies. And I'm like, I'm not doing that, dude. I'm just fucking not. So he would lay up there and I would just sit in a chair down and he would have his TV mounted and we would just fucking watch, what's it called? Out cold. Out cold. Yeah. Together. And have these weird ass angles. God. Yep. You know what I'm talking about, Cool Greg? Cool Greg cool, went up cool. there with you. Cool Greg's not afraid to get You're up there. It's like two friend. possums stuck in a hole. They're just oh up there. My God. That does not surprise me at all. You could have yeah. written that story down and been like, who, is, who in this office did this? And I would have like, fuck, yeah. fuck. I would put all my money on Kevin Quello. Yeah. For that. All my money. That was great. But it's, it, it, was, it was fun. It was, it was a great weekend, sorely needed. And then we came back uh, and ended up going to Punchline. and ended up being a holiday weekend, which I forgot. Holiday weekends, uh, yep. they're packed. So they make all the comics stand outside. Mm. Was it in the middle of a rainstorm? Yes. Were we under course. overhang, still freezing? Very much so. Of course. Yeah, yeah. But it was fun, man. So that's the, that's the question for you, Mike. We got to get the I love Tahoe this. trip on the Yeah, on the, on I'm the glad book that you now. sent it is right, you know. Only more to come, right? We'll get dope gear. Gotta get geary. We'll send it all night long, just like you did, because that's what you gotta do. You gotta rally all night long. Mike, give me the like you're saying that's what you gotta do. Yeah. But for those out there that don't know what you gotta uh, do, give me the chair, give me the quick rules yeah, of, you, of the ultimate Tahoe weekend. First chair to last call, Nick. That's 
the rules. That's the line, right? So basically 8 a.m. to We're like waking work. up 8 a.m. We are ripping that morning crisp, right? You're mm-hmm. feeling it on your face. You're looking at me going, Mike, it's a little too early. It's a little too cold outside. And I say, don't you worry. The sun's coming up, yeah. young Padawan. Here comes the sun. It kisses your face by about high noon. We're stopping at one of the beautiful mountain lodges, getting some chili, getting some margaritas, maybe some Bloody Marys, if that's what oh, you fancy. About two hours out of your skis and just relaxing, right? Mm-hmm. Then we're going to send it for the afternoon shred. Get a little sloppy because, you know, Nick can't hang that late, but it doesn't matter because no, he's not. still going, right? So the, hold on. I, I, I want to make sure that I'm following in this yeah, yeah, mental the, vision that I have. When you say get a little sloppy, what, what does that, that means? That means the conditions get a little bit of slushy, a little slushy, a little wet, right? Okay. It's not yeah. as firm anymore. Mm-hmm. So you get a little sloppy on your skis, right? This is when most of the accidents on the mountain happen. So don't ski that late into the day if you're tired. But we get a little wild. And then at the end, like Nick said, right? Now's the perfect time. Ditch all the gear. Hot showers all around. Where are we going? Hot tub. Oh, we're hot chilling tub. in the hot tub. Hot, hot tub. I'll join you guys a couple for that part. tarantulas. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh my god. Gone. How hot tub and white club, white claws all day, Nick. I, I'll tell you, man. This sounds freaking fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's the one thing that I wish we had done yeah, a little bit no, more. No hot tub up there. The, no, no hot tub up there. Um, didn't miss it, but that would have okay. been incredible. But no, I was going to go back to the day. Is we got up a little later than I think we probably should have because mostly because I blame the white Russians, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then because of that, we're like, we're going to ski straight through lunch. We packed sandwiches, oh, okay. went to the car, s- slammed a sandwich. I like to do the hard morning and then maybe like kid myself, like I'm not going back. Stay in the lodge for an hour, mm-hmm. get the Bloody mm-hmm. Mary, go back. I will say, point of pride, they all went skiing the next day and I'm like, I actually could have done this. If I didn't, if I didn't want to go to punch... I probably could have actually skied oh, okay. two days in a row and been okay because my quads are actually not too not too terrible right now. You got some sweet yams. Well, I also just took I took uh, greens and blues all day. So oh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, it was hard. Hey, it was hard. It's it is right. Yeah, I, I've I, never I, been more tired in my life than uh, when we won the Lacroix and had to bring all that shit up the stairs. Oh my uh, god! Uh, but the funny. second time was snowboarding. The last time I snowboarded, like even just going for a couple hours, I was like, "How do people keep doing this?" Like, I had what to level are you at snowboarding? I'm a fucking goddamn pro. No, I don't know. He's a pro. Tim's probably got the best drip on like, the mountain oh, for sure. I was I was fucking looking damn good. Uh, was I doing cool shit? No. Yeah. But like, I would go off sweet little jumps and shit. Would I do that now? Hell no, yeah, dude. Could. I don't oh, even we'll know that do I'd ever. Now. I don't think I. I think my my slope days are way behind me. No I way. bet you I can get Nick to hit a box or a rail. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. Let's not. Let's just yeah. not. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I we need get, him. <laughs> we get up there. I'll show him the box. We just we just ski across. I'll, it. I'll just ride a rail with you. The faster you go into it, the faster you get off. Yeah, how good at how good go. at skiing do you think I am? <laughs> not the right technique, just so you know, Tim, but I a mean, great <laughs> ski, a great <laughs> saying right all there. All right, all right. The faster you go in, the faster you get off. How good at skiing do you think I am? Uh Nick, I know your past. I know you're very good at skiing. Medium uh, to higher. Medium. Yeah. I'll medium go. to higher is where I'd put you. Yeah. Well, I need someone to push me though. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. You need a mic to Left say, to send own. it into this rail right now, man. You're going to be fine. Take this jump. Don't even look. Close your eyes. Well, we made the studio wheelchair accessible, so we're, we're, that we're good. That is true. I we, guess. Are good. we are <laughs> ADA compliant injuries, across the board. Any injuries, we'll be fine. Can I tell you one story that I forgot? So, like, you know, I'm a joker. Yep. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. Gosh. I like to fuck around a lot, right? You know one place people don't like you fucking around? Blackjack table. They really oh. don't like They don't like yeah, yeah. joking around. Okay. <laughs> Walked up to my buddy Travis, just jokingly. And said, I want you to close your eyes and just hit on the next card you get. Don't even look at it. To which the woman next to me looked at me. And she goes, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. And called me a word that I'm not allowed to say anymore, guys. That word got canceled <laughs> 20 shit. years ago. Wow. Yeah, she called me the hard R word. She was like, wow. what are you effing beep? And I was like, not ironic. Yeah, just that's, said that that's to that's me. Back pocket is right. Damn. God well, what was the table minimum? $10. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> We're not, not fucking betting not on bad. it. I'm saying so the one I almost sat down uh, next to was a hundred dollars. That would have been that, that I wouldn't have fucked around with, but maybe That's I would have. You know, you get a couple bourbons in me. I'm a lightweight these days. I like to fuck around. Okay, I've Fair told the story many times on this podcast. Yeah, variations of this podcast, different shows and stuff. But I'm gonna tell it again because, like, while I'm sure you've heard it at some mm-hmm. point, Mike, mm-hmm. I've never mm-hmm. told you in person. Oh, okay. The story I like this of my last time on the slopes. All right. Wait, 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 I don't know anything about. Your snow, your snow voyages. Are you a good snowboarder? No, like how many I mean, times no way. No, no, okay. no, I think I've I've snowboarded four times okay. in my life okay. ever, okay. and it was just like a Tahoe trip. You know what I mean? Yeah. Each time, and it was just like just me and Cool Greg and Kevin and Curran and my friends would just be like having fun. Yeah. So the last time we went, I was uh, 15 years old. All right, so in high school times, 
And uh, me and a lot of my my girlfriends, my my dude friends, we were all like, a bit, it was a pretty cool group, like maybe eight people that my mom took up to Tahoe for like a fun little uh, spring break or some shit. Winter break must have been. And uh, we get on the the slopes. The, the girls decided they weren't gonna do anything. They're just gonna chill, with hot chocolate and all that stuff at the lodge. The lodge. Bro. And um, me, know. me and the cool boys were like, "Yo, we're gonna fucking snowboard." You know what I mean? We're we're getting on this shit. We're not skiing. You know what I mean? Skies versus urchins. Skiing's for nerds. You know what's up? Right. Urchins, baby. Uh, shout out to Johnny Tsunami. Civilized weapon for more civilized time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <Nailed> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I can't it, dude. The simplest quote. I can't pull out of my ass. So, right now. so you know, we're these dumb fifteen-year-old kids. We're doing okay. We do the whole like t- tutorial, whatever, and we're like we crush that fucking shit because we're skateboarders at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every single day, Mike, me and this group of friends would go outside my my house in the Richmond district. We'd get on our skateboards and we would just try to ollie just over and over. Push, We'd make yeah. bullshit flip, makeshift bro. ramps. Oh, I, I can fucking kickflip, Nick. Don't don't, don't tempt me. Don't, don't tempt me. I don't Fair, feel like give yeah, me your you said that when we first opened the studio and yet to do it. I feel Look, like never gonna do it. I, again, yet never. to do it. I want it clear because motherfuckers hold me to my word and I appreciate that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I cannot kickflip. I want that on the record. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can flip. I can do the kickflip action. I just cannot land on the board. Okay, well, that's back just in the, the day, not a, yes, you can't. Well, you're not I doing can do it. the kickflip thing, but I can do part of it. I just can't fully I think land. You got to commit it. to it. I think what you should do is spend all of 2023. That's your goal. Yeah. Learning to do that, and then 2024, when I call you out on it, because I'll forget this no. conversation happened. Yeah. You I, fucking show me up. I'm legit kickflip. scared to get on a skateboard at this point. Really? It'd be fine. I am an asset. <laughs> My be, body is an mean, asset, you guys. A weapon. Yeah, I'm a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> broken. <laughs> Cannot break this. I, I'm afraid to get on a skateboard too nowadays, Tim. So I'm with you. It's scary. But so, so me and my friends were like, we're used to this shit. We're like, yo, we can crush the snowboarding stuff. It's totally fine. And like, of course, that gives us way inflated egos. So we go from like the bunny slopes did to you like. Take any lessons? Do you know yeah, anything yeah, yeah. about? I like that he I called mean, the lessons a tutorial. Yeah, the touch, <laughs> the touch. I do. I do appreciate <laughs> That's that. That's where I'm at. You okay. know what I mean? Ask okay. the tutorial. We play video games. We we fucking pressed A through that shit. Whatever. We're like fine. We got this. Like, let's let's go up. So we we go to like one of the more advanced ones. It, it wasn't anything crazy, and like for us, it it looked intense. We're like, we can fucking do it. So we start going down, and it's pretty steep. We're going real fast. Pretty immediately, we realize in over our heads, like we should not be going down this. It's it's a little too advanced. But me and my friends were like, like, hey, fuck it. M- my one friend Vince, who to this day it would be the guy to do this. He's like, no, fuck it, I got it. Just. Get all the way down again. He just bombs it. That's the play. And it's like, all right, cool. Good for you. But me and my friend Curran, we're making our way down. And I was like, hey, bro, there's no rush. You guys know me. It's exactly how I'd be now. Like, hey, let's just take our time. It's all good. Let's go down 10 feet at a time. Throw ourselves down. Take it slow. You know what I mean? Get to the bottom of this damn hill. Be safe. That's all that fucking matters. Right. Just being safe. I just want some hot chocolate. I want to get out of this hellscape that I put myself in. Yeah. Terrifying. So we start going down the mountain. The mountain starts turning into a S shape. Oh. Uh, like, uh, very, very, a lot of S's. Serpentine. A, you know, serpentine, a serpentine. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Snake. Thank you. Right? And at each part of the S, the the, the plateau, there's a nice little plateau, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this mountain, whatever. We end up, I'd say, about halfway through the serpentine S. And we end on a little cliff. I'm like, I need a break. And Curran's like, bro, me too. Let's just chill out of the way of everyone mm. on the edge of this cliff. Yeah, I'm 15. All right? You know? So we're on the on the cliff and we're just sitting there. We're just kind of catching up, talking, be like, "Yo, we fucked up, bro. Like, like this sucks. Like, we've been on this thing for now probably an hour, and we're just trying to get down. Take like, it, put your helmet on. Whew, it's like, but okay, we're gonna let's just take a sec. We're we'll gonna go down and be fine. So as we're sitting there, I look up the hill, and coming down at me is this kid, and he look he's just this tiny little ant, yeah. little tiny dot, and the dot starts getting bigger and bigger. Here it comes. It starts does coming. Does get right more Peruvian at us. Okay. I, no, no, no. Okay. More I thought it was Kevin. No. Kevin. I thought it was going to be no, Kevin. It wasn't Kevin. It wasn't <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> this kid who was probably like eight or nine is just coming real fast on some skis right at us. Oh, shit. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, taken out, huh? bro. I was like, hey, Curry, like, I, I, this kid's about to hit us. And all of a sudden, we start hearing him. Uh, yep, here it comes. Like this scream just goes from nothing <laughs> to louder and louder and louder. We see the his little whatever the fuck they're called the, the 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 poles. Yeah, he drops the poles. He's just out of control, just fucking coming at us. The scream is getting louder and louder and louder and louder. I'm like, what the fuck do we do? Because at this moment, there's this crisis of like, do we just get out of the way and let this kid fly yeah, off the cliff? Let him die. Or That's how you do like we it. let him hit us and like oh, try to stop him? him. Do we try to rip. grab him? Like I couldn't. I had no idea. We had enough time seeing this kid come down because it was a big ass slope to have a conversation. What do we do? 
And he's like, I'm not going to let him hit me. And I'm like, fuck, I'm not going to let him hit me. Fuck but like, no. I feel like we should do something. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> but like, ah, then we're like, we're like, all right, just get out of the way. We both get out of the way. And this kid, man, I'll never, ever, ever forget the sound of, ah! Gone. Because that scream went from loud to nothing as he flew off this fucking cliff. Oh, he flew off the cliff? Into the trees. Oh, just shit. Never to be seen again. That kid just died. Oh, gone. Bro. And immediately, I'm like, holy shit. And I don't know why, but I was a kid. Me and Corinne's first thought, we're going to jail for murder. Yeah, you feel that good. <laughs> that was, we <laughs> were accomplices to murder. to murder at this point. Like, that, like we could have stopped this kid. We could have not stopped You're not going to stop the kid. kid. No, they would have taken you off the cliff with him. That's what would have But we were so damn scared that we're like we gotta go we gotta go we got down that mountain in like two minutes Fast. after that right Dominant. we get there and everyone's like oh you guys cool it's like yeah you know we just have to take our time like it's all good we're like never speak of this again like you know they can't they can't get us it's fine um but we were like eventually like we gotta fucking get this kid help we gotta like see what's going on we didn't need to because we started hearing sirens going oh, yeah, up, left and right kid. it was a shutdown <laughs> lockdown snowmobiles going crazy little ambulance snowmobiles like yeah, it was it cool. was wild and they, they ended up getting the kid um he, like they, they got the kid he was not dead but i don't know how living he was you know what i mean but it was really bad so it's like this is a sad story overall but man it was it was a very stressful time on the slopes Dang for, I, for 15 year old and nick as you know got a pizza can't french fry got a pizza when you french fry you're gonna have a bad time mike hold that thought ladies and <laughs> gentlemen wow. because it's time for a word from our sponsors mm. This week on Patreon, the next gen crew of Kinda Funny, myself, Barrett, Joey, and Roger, did a fantasy film draft picking which movies we think are going to be the best reviewed, and we had some wild choices. This third one is about to pop off with one Jonathan Majors, because he's looking a God big, thick it. boy. He has a Creed killing me. Three, baby. He has a killing me, man. Go. Not even on my list. <laughs> Roger, how what is, is that your not on your list? <laughs> Dune 2. Right, mm, like that's yeah. gonna be My a banger. Yeah. We have Austin Butler. Wasn't he like a child star in something? Yeah. Zoe one. Yeah. Zoe one. Oh he's the, my god! He's, the, he's like the bad boy. <laughs> yeah. <He's> the, oh. <laughs> my dude! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> my god! Oh man, I love that dude. Can we draft a what? movie DLC? <laughs> <laughs> Trailer. Uh, I would like to draft an unannounced Marvel like post credit scene. Yeah. <laughs> like, Head over to Patreon.com/slash Kind of Funny to listen to this and hundreds of other exclusive episodes right now. Pizza French fry. I got made fun of because of that. So I was apparently skiing better than everyone on the bunny slope. Yeah. Yeah. Because two people at different parts of the day stopped me. Because I was actually like, I was helping my buddy Janesh. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I was skiing with them, hanging out, just kind of giving them whatever little pointers I could for my limited knowledge of skiing. But apparently that was hyper advanced to everyone else in the bunny slopes. Because two separate people were like, yo, man, you got any, uh, any tips for skiing? And I was like, I, and it came out of my mouth before I realized that I was surrounded by comedians. I was like, you know what, man? Pizza, French fries, right? Pizza, French fries. And I just, that was it for the rest of the yep. day. I would oh, yeah. hear my buddy Marty roll by, but pizza, French fries, you fucking dork. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know pizza, French fries? I, no, I mean, I can kind of imagine. You want to put it, makes you, you make slow. the French fries makes you go fast. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you, if, you put okay. It, if, you, if you wedge your skis like this, that's how, you know, beginner mm -hmm. skiers slow down on the bunny slopes. Okay. And then when you, you do this, but that's the problem is you have to learn how to kind of cut back and forth. And keep your body forward. But what most people do is they'll go all the way across, turn, go all the way across. That that's where you start getting into sort of like that's it's gonna take you a while to get down that. That way. was me. That, that's yeah. what we were doing. Because there's nothing yeah. scarier the first time you go up because you're like, this is gonna be okay. First off, most terrifying thing when you're a skier is getting off the lift. That's that first thing first you go, nobody told me about this. I didn't know how to, I don't know how to get off this lift. And it you eat every time they eat shit. You've been with the first time snowboarder. We're like, oh, yeah. I don't. This is confounding. You got to let them eat shit the first time. You yeah, don't tell you them. You don't tell them it's coming, right? After that, you figure it out. Beyond that, that first drop, we're like, this looks way, way too scary. You take it. You got to bomb it. That's what you got to do. Mm. The and scariest my, part for me, the first drop to me, getting off the little ski lift thing. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. That getting yeah. off the lift is I hate that shit. terrifying. Mm -hmm. Until someone tells you how to do it, and then you go, oh, that's the easiest thing ever. You just let the, you let the chair push you off. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. As the chair pushes you off, you just stand up and go down. Would you guys believe that in the four times I went snowboarding, that equated to, I don't know, what, 17 ski lifts total or sure. something like that? Yeah. I fell every time. Every, every, every single time. time. I don't every think time. I ever had a smooth. Face first? <laughs> No, it was just not graceful. It doesn't I'll, I'll tell you yeah, that. Yeah. that. You know, because I have bad. one of my feet attached to the snowboard, the other one's just fucking dangling. Yeah, I'm I like, don't... what are you trying to do? It's man? easier. It's easier on skis because you're already angled toward it. You don't have to like angle your body. Mikey, where do you come down on? Do you wear a helmet? Are you oh, being of safe? course, you have to wear. You got to wear a helmet. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Have to wear a helmet. Safety good, first. Good, good. 
I have a sick helmet too. Which I have like a like? BMX like motocross helmet now. Yeah. Is what I've evolved to. So I got a cool visor and stuff. Ball. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I got a badass helmet. Now. now, Mike, obviously you're you're the the master of the mountains. Mm-hmm. Like we know you for so much. But like in my mind, like I think of you as a, a true slopes legend. Yes. But like real talk. So ski, snowboarding. Are you do you snowboard? Can do or both of those competently. Yeah. Which are you better at? Uh, probably snowboarding nowadays, but I can still ski. So let's talk snowboarding. Are you out there doing actual like sick tricks? You taking the park? Uh, three sixty at most. You can I do a three fucking sixty. Can you yeah. grab it? Are you doing a three sixty? Uh, grab? It's a little weak grab. Nothing special. Oh, Nothing that's like cool, nasty. dude. But I can spin around. Yeah. Are you doing the park? You're doing the park? Are you oh, of like course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's been so long now. I just do the snow bike in the park. Yeah. So I like to call it like you know, I got the knickknacks. I got the t- I got the tail get spins. The I got the hand hand ri- or the uh, bar spins. I got all that. Called this one the Mile High Salute. I'd fly off and jump, and I'd just salute the air. So nasty. <laughs> I fucking love you, Mike. I thought I was insane. So I go, no feet, and I just kick my feet out. Oh, yeah, I no, did like, gonna, I can hear him scream in the day, no feet. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm going to do the I Mile like, High Salute. I'd tell my I need to ready. see this. I just want to ski next to you while yeah, yeah. you're doing these things. I, I did the stanky be, leg. Yeah, you did the little stanky yeah, leg. Yeah, I had to do the stanky leg in front of Washburn because yeah. he didn't believe it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know the stanky leg till you see it in person because like the videos don't do it justice but like what i'll do is i'll jump up on the seat with one leg mm-hmm. and then stank leg the other leg outward so i'm like standing on the, on the two handles on the handlebars one on the on the seat yeah and i'm, I'm flying and so the catch Hold is on, you're like, doing this in the air uh, in the air or, uh, snap, bro. mainly on the out. on the snow you know what i mean and so now imagine we're going down and we're going like 30 miles an hour and i'm doing the stanky leg past you so. I'm a menace to society. I, <laughs> I want it, dude. I, I want probably it. should be stopped. We I need to cut. Co- here's what we need to do. We need to get a crew together. Yeah. And we yeah. need to come up with like a theme for our weekend. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking we all dress as stormtroopers. Tim dresses as Darth Vader. We put him out in and front of us and we, and, we, and we chase us around the mountain. Or I love that. Tim's like a Jedi. Well, we're all just we trying to stop the Jedi. We get, like, mm-hmm. And we get hurt and then we get lost in the snow and no one can find us because we're in all white because of the stormtroopers. That is pitch. the risk we take for greatness. Mm-hmm. Think about the Instagram pics. Think about the TikToks of like, oh, the, sto- the snow. We'll do snow, snow troopers, not yeah. snow troopers. Fucking idiot. Oh, oh fucking yeah. Idiot. You, you caught yourself, though. Snow Good call. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Before the chat had a chance or the, the comments had a chance to do that. We wear the little like cool little capes that they have, like the little butt flaps. Yeah. 100%. Oh, always yeah. buff right. flapping. Right. Always be buff flapping. Yep. That's it. Always be flapping. I want to go to Sports Basement with you after this. I need to get some Oh, can we get, go to yeah, Sports Basement? Absolutely can. Now, I'll tell you what. I went shopping recently, Nick. I stopped over at the mall, and I swiped a card a couple of times. And here's the catch, Tim Gettys. I'm, I'm thinking go about pee-pee. buying some Tims. Some Tims? Some Tims? Mm-hmm. Jordans? And I got I got a little intimidated, Nick. You can't get them. I don't even know how to get Jordan. Tim no, no. Has a, here's, here's what happens every time. Tim's walking away now, so he can't. Okay. He can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is a hundred percent, ladies and gentlemen, hundred okay. percent factual, factual. Tell me, tell me, facts right now. Okay. okay. Tim gets his Jordans. Yeah. From a back alley guy. Oh, okay. I don't know the guy's name. We got to drive. He, I went with him one time. Scariest, scariest I've ever been. It's like buying drugs before weed yeah, was yeah. legal. You'd have to go to someone's house, and they'd be like, yo, what's up? It was scary. Yeah, like, well, Randy, yeah. Tim's got guys that just come out of the fucking woodworks, and they give you just these, these dope-ass, like, okay. one-off got Jordan. Yeah, yeah. This is the, the Miles Morales. It's okay, always, okay. This is the uh-huh. Iron Man Jordan, whatever. Yeah, yeah. One time, I might have got caught up in a 187. I don't know. If that's <laughs> oh, the, snap. We had to kill a guy. Selling freaks, yeah, yeah. But we got those fucking sweet shoes. So what, okay. what are these Jordans that you want to get? What's no, that? not Jordans. Oh. Timberland boots. Oh, I thought Some you meant Tim. I thought you meant Tim's like the shit. No, Tim no, boots. Nick. You know, I got myself. I got Jordans and stuff. Are you okay, okay. But it's time to get some Tim. Because I want some Red Wings. That's what I want. Oh, you want some Red Wings? I had. My, I brought up my old bad. North Face boots that okay. I had, I've had for uh-huh. years. My hiking like snow boots. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, I fucking like. I like. I like you that. up here. Oh, I like the view man, from the, the top, view bro. From there, is I'm great. a solid five ten in those things. Yeah, I feel great about myself. So what kind of Timberlands six. are you going to get? Well, that's the catch. Do you go with the traditional originals, which I think is where I'm... What do we like? Barrett, can you bring originals. up the original? Just like type but in then original when you Timberlands. show up to Shoe Palace here, right? Yeah. They got 12 on display in all different colors, all different styles. And it's like, oh, my God, what am I supposed to buy here? You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you just go with the OGs? All right, so you want the big... You want the big... Like fucking Timberland, like tan Timberland. Yes, boots. I want the big tan Timberland boots. I think you could just do that. I think you could just make. I that think that that's yourself. the OG. But yeah. like when when you show up to Shoe Palace and there's twelve options, you start to second guess the OG. But then you got to do the thing where you you don't lace them right. You got to keep them loose and tuck oh. shit in. Are you doing that? These I don't ones. Know. Those ones. Those are the Timberland. Those no, are what those I think. Add a little hype for you. Those are like. the OGs. That's what I think when I think. Those people. are the OGs. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think. 
I'm I'm into I'm I'm into boots now, so I might go with you, but I'm not gonna get the Timberlands because I'm not cool enough for that. I'm okay. gonna get I think I want to get a pair of like Red Wing boots. Okay, start wearing those. Oh, see, I was thinking of like the the big like thick black boots that like emo girls wear, but oh, like, like Doc wear, Martens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't but, know like, the really yes, thick yes. ones. You so know? here's here here. Okay, mm-hmm. we'll, let's tell a story about one Kevin Coelho. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Kevin and Paula got into Doc Martens back. Remember this cool G? Remember it was like five years ago. Paula, Paula bought Kevin a pair of, of Doc Martens, and I fucking love Doc Martens. Okay. And I, I think I made a comment about them, but because Kevin always thinks I'm making fun of him, oh, he was like, I'm never wearing these Doc Martens. No. Yeah. But I love them. Out See, here's why I like Doc Martens. Can, we, Doc, can I get some Docs on the screen, please? Doc Greg? Martens can boots. Doc? They look like combat boots from like World War II. Okay. I love them okay. because in the 90s, they made a resurgence, and everyone wore the Doc Martens. We wore oh. the, we wore that. We didn't wear the boots. We people I say we. I never had a pair, mm-hmm. but but everyone that was cool in my high school used to wear like big baggy jeans rolled up yeah. with a with the, just the Doc Martin shoe. Okay, okay, and that was the look. And now, of course, the '90s are back. Every time I look around, I see Roger walking around with a sweatshirt five times bigger than he needs. Yeah. We could all fit in this sweatshirt. The '90s right are now. Bi- like, he's, they're so that fucking is your cool. Favorite he's thing not showing up in so Jinko cool. jeans right now. Oh, Roger's but, like, yeah, look at these. Those are bad to the fucking bone right there. Roger, if you hear this, please those come here. Those are real bad. Roger, I just saw him walk to the yeah, kitchen yeah. so he we, can't hear him. He just grabbed his bag. Him. I think he's out. He's like, yeah. fuck this. Yeah, fuck I'm over Nick. this slander. <laughs> I'm into boots, man. Let's get into boots. Tim, you're not allowed to wear boots. You're too tall. Yeah, I'm not a boot Did, Were you ever a boot guy? No. You didn't do the Timberlands? No. I, I can see you. Yeah, but you know, actually, the Timberlands would go well with what you're wearing right now. Timberlands is the East Coast thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you're rocking Air Force Ones. You're close enough. Yeah, I yeah, feel like it's, I was, a, it's an airport. easy logical yeah. step. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There he is. Oh my we god! Got, Look at this drip, rock. as the kids call it right here. Drip for me. Hey, drip daddy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? What's going on? We were, I was just <laughs> talking about your, the cool Gen Z sweatshirts that you guys uh-huh. wear, that where you can fit five people in them. You get a cuddle puddle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You get loose. We like get loose under. That. I like it so. I like when you guys like if if we get stuck in the flood, I can put you up as a flag and you yeah. guys or like as a sail. You guys just sail me down the street. That's what I like. Yeah, it, Mike came today. My nails are done today, and then he said, "I like your Carl Jacobs you nails." It's like, no, it's not just <laughs> Carl Jacobs. You know what I mean? Like we're all doing it. Yeah, but he's the leader of the crew. Yep. He's the leader. <laughs> I accept Gen Z's. I accept Carl it. Jacobs? I accept it. Oh, Wait, are you the leader or is Carl? Who, who no, Carl's I? the leader. Carl's yeah. the leader. Are you like second, first in command though? No, 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 no I'm far below. Okay. <laughs> far below. I'm he's just, just, I'm he's just happy to be here. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. I'm just. I'm at the party. I get <laughs> so when the drug damn. bowl comes around to me. I'll take a little ketamine. Uh, I like. <laughs> I like that you're what. That's what I, that's what the kids do these days. They do the ketamine. No Don't do ketamine anymore. I'm not We're saying do the ketamine. ketamine. I'm saying the kids do ketamine. But I'm actually saying we should we should be good to the Delaney kids. Delaney twinning in the chat. Don't do ketamine, okay? Please don't Sorry. do it. What other things is Carl Jacobs leading you on on this fashion adventure y'all are on? I mean the nails, just everything, right? Like it's okay. the vibe, like the cool vibe. Is it tone nails as well? Oh, interesting. I mean, I haven't really thought about that. I don't think so. I haven't seen Carl Jacobs' toes. Oh. I mean, this is I'm sure that- kind of like an invitation, I guess. I mean, Carl Jacobs, what's up? <laughs> what's up with your toes? What's up with- Are you painting your toes? Where are them toes at? Tim, yeah, exactly. can you call Tell Carl real quick? Well, honestly, I was- about, toes. I, no. I, I want to let you know that I was just considering, should I call Carl? I'm not yeah, going to- no, You should no, call Carl. I'm not going to no. call and be like, yo, call can we Carl. see your toes? You no. <laughs> give me give me your phone. I'll call Carl. Carl, we haven't talked to you in a couple months, but show us Show Give us your the toes. Fucking toes, toes, dude. Toes and dude, what? can I explain something that's that's happened where my two worlds have collided collided yep. over the weekend? Okay, yeah, yeah. Later. Somebody found one of my comic friends found out that I got a wiki feet page. Okay. And Fuck every yeah. fucking show I show up to, God. a new comic goes, dude, what's up with those feet? <laughs> It's just spread like wildfire. People legit think that I have an OnlyFans yeah, for feet. We gotta get <laughs> to a point. It's to a point now that I feel odd not having an OnlyFans yeah, for my it. feet. Let's do it. So I think we need to start one, Tim. I think this could be a good new a new. Uh, new I'm not against for it. it. I am not against this at all. Oh, well, Nikki I feet. Love there it is. Here it is. Here they are right Nikki here. feet. Somebody figured it Look out. Look at those things. And that's it. You Those look the great, money Roger. makers. Remember that. You yeah. look great. Yeah, killing the game, Rog. Except for that Final Fantasy sweater that Tim hates, but I like. I love. Steezy. Oh, I thought you said you hated the, uh, the no. McDonald's. No, 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 no. Okay. I said it was <laughs> disgusting, okay. which I understand <laughs> sounds okay, negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said like, that to me. No, no, I mean it like <laughs> compliment. That's nasty. That shit is nasty. Okay, it I is disrespectful. Okay, like it that. is inappropriate, but it is perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. What? They got a lot of pictures of me. They got a I lot of pictures of your fucking feet. I haven't checked that in a while. It's like jujitsu pictures. You know, one of my favorite shit. things, Nick, is <laughs> there's a... Where do they get them from? You know there's I mean? there's a gif of me um, complimenting <laughs> your feet. 
And it's just like, it's something that I just need to live with. And every once in a while, somebody like random will just text yeah. me this gif. Uh-huh. And it's it's me saying something to the extent of like, you know what, Nick? Legitimately, you have really nice feet. Thank you. And I do stand by that. Like, I know there's a big joke here. Mm-hmm. Nick has, I think, the nicest male feet that I've ever seen. Wow. I, 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 I remember taking wow. this picture, by the way. So <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that that makes me it's me. Maybe I'm the guy just uploading all these pictures. I'm, fi- I'm honestly fine with it. <laughs> it's one of the, can you imagine if it was revealed that all of this was Barrett <laughs> in his free time? <laughs> just I'd be okay with it, I'll honestly. Be, listen, it, it's hey, one of those When things. I was brought on, it was like, hey, we need to, like, a... a a social media guy. Yeah. We need to like help all this stuff. Like we need to beef up Nick Scarpino's internet, like kind of uh, uh, personality here. And this was the only way I could figure out how to do it. You know? Look at Barrett, your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> I'm at a point now. I'm at an elevated age. I don't give a shit what I get famous age. for. I just want to be famous. If I'm going to be, the, if I have the most famous feet on the internet, and that's my legacy, mm-hmm. that's what when Tim Gettys has little little Tim babies. Right, Rimothy and uh, Paula Paula Bills, y'all, whatever we call it. Paula Paula Bills, y'all. Uh-huh. And they go, "What, Uncle Nick? What is Uncle Nick known for?" And be like, "Oh, he's got nasty. He's got disgusting feet. <laughs> Mostly disgusting, disgusting, disgusting feet." feet. <laughs> that, I'm fine with it, Mike. Uh-huh. I'm fine yeah, with yeah. it. I, I'm not going to leave a legacy on this planet. So, Nick, yeah. th- this is it. <laughs> oh God, I love it. Oh, I love it. God bless us. Look at the old studio, ladies and gentlemen. It's stupid old. Well, stupid. I feel like we talked a lot about uh, snow, so hopefully yeah, people like that. Yeah, that was a great that. trip. Was I'm really glad fun. they enjoyed that. Yeah, I th- it bonded me to you in a way yeah. that mm-hmm. I wasn't because I was texting that. you updates and you were like, "You're doing it so right." You're I'm so, so right. proud. So yeah, I yeah. felt good. So wait, and now what, were you also in Tahoe, Nick? Or my... no, no, I stayed. At, I, I was down here. I'm so Kevin, Kevin down here. went up to Tahoe. Kevin did go up to Tahoe. Got it. Just like just like I expected, it was going to be a hell of a drive, and it was for them. They were on the road. Oh, I would not have Tahoe would have been brutal, but they had a great time. You didn't go to Tahoe. I went to Twain Heart. Twain Which Park. is Sorry, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. two hours inland or got three hours it, inland it. of from where we're at. Nick, can you imagine if you guys were just fucking on the slopes doing all your your whatever the fuck Steezy. you were doing? What were they called? Steezy, what, what the yeah. drink? What's Steezy shirt? Sure. Getting Steezy. Getting Steezy. We shop in the Narnar, Narnar Brody. Shredding all Narnar. the things that you're doing, Shredding and Narnar. then you just see Narnar. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's there. <laughs> I'd leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, well, I gotta there's go. an omen here. Like, so, I gotta go. Would you be? Would you be convinced that like someone was filming you and like no, we were no, it's something? It's not that. It's that. If I saw, Ke- listen, Kevin Coelho is is a force of nature, mm-hmm. for better or for worse, mm-hmm. right? We love him. He's great in this office. He handles all of our technical stuff. Every once in a while, I catch him running around, and I'm like, something's going to happen. Mm-hmm. If I saw Kevin Coelho in the conditions that were out there, I would leave immediately because I'd be like, he's going to cause an avalanche. Mm-hmm. I don't know how. I don't even know if that's possible right now. But Kevin is going to contribute to the deaths of everyone on this mountain right now. <laughs> and I do not want to be one of those people. But I'm out. Then somehow he will fix it and then he will be seen as the hero. He'll pop up like a little like a little mole, like a He'll little lemon. Save it all. He He'll will find the cure. Around he and will everyone. Bring, bring people back from the dead. <laughs> and he'll like, just give them hot toddy. He's one of, like one of those St. Bernards that has a little thing. Yeah. And he just, bring, he just pours hot whiskey into their mouths and revitalizes everyone. Mm. Now, I didn't know Kevin was going up. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah, Kevin went up. Is Kevin a skier or a snowboarder? Beach. Does he What's ski up? or does he just bobsled? He skis. He skis. He skis. Snow biked once too and yeah. absolutely sent it on the bike. I don't yeah. Know. Paula was not pleased with us, but he did it and we had a blast, me and him. I love this. He's like, please don't do this. And he was like, Mike, we're going to do it. And I was like, yes, Kevin. I now love it. just point forward and go, you know? And he did it. I. What's the fastest you go on a snow bike? Oh, so fast. You go fast. So probably 40 to 60. Yeah. It's fast. If I mean, you can not, go fast if, on a ski. If nobody's on my way, I can, I can go fast. Hundred percent. That's so. Do you get scared? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I make questionable decisions all the time on the slopes. That's right. I um. So if we go, if we go together, are you snowboarding with me? Are you skiing with me? Are you no, I'm on a snow bike. Yeah, hundred percent. So you're just hundred percent. All of that stuff is in the closet. I'm never pulling it out again. The skis, skis or snowboard. I'll okay. never do it again. Really? Wait, what? Yeah, hundred percent. You just love the snow bike. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Like the snow bike. I like the comfort of rocking my Nikes. Uh, I think it looks cool. Oh, like, so who you, else you don't even wear snow like? boots. No, uh huh. You don't even need it. No. You should well, so weirdly enough, related. especially with how he uh, drives these things, weirdly enough, I still feel like the safest, uh, safest option out of all three, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, probably because you're not really strapped into anything. I feel, I feel like that's where a lot of the minor injuries well, happen. Most when of the people too avoid you me too. The, yeah, because they see that insane. and they're like, "Oh, I'm scared of that." You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'm up on the handlebars, Tim. I haven't even told you about embrace the sun. Embrace the where sun. Where now? Ka-ka! Instead of putting my feet Ka-ka! on the seats, 
I put my feet Steer wedging away. myself against the seat, and my knees are on the handlebars. Now I'm up in the air doing this, right? And I blow kisses. Fun salutations, Tim. Namaste. Uh -huh, namaste. Is there any footage of this? Uh, there's some footage on YouTube, but it doesn't do it justice. We'll but, find some. Yeah, because I've seen the the, yeah, Mike, yeah. the movie. J JD has some like recent footage <laughs> that would do it more justice. Got it. Got I got need it. it. I need uh -huh. to see this we, right we now. We could find some. I want to see this in person, man. It's oh, yeah. re it's revitalized. Uh, my love of skiing. Not that I was ever like crazy yeah, into yeah. it because I was always like, I'm not good enough to, to do this and I'm not close enough and I don't do it enough. Mm -hmm. You know, you get the bug. You're like, I got to do this every single day. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, once a season is good enough for me. But I'm happy to say my body reacted nicely to it. My That's knee great. feels okay. I don't feel broken down. I actually feel like I, I, I had a good day and could go back again. So we might have to get a Tahoe trip up because yeah. the Lord knows it is still fucking snowing up there. Still snowing. So there's going to be snow well into what? April? <laughs> oh, way past that. As well. You think so? Oh, yeah. There's going to be snow there all the time. Yeah. That's the one thing I want to do. Is when we go back, I want it to be nothing but slush, and I want to wear T-shirts with you. Oh, a little spring skiing. Yeah, I want spring that. skiing. I, with like the, I want that. I want okay. Ray Bans, uh -huh. and I want to, I want walkie talkies the entire time. So when we're going yeah, down the hill, the walkie talkies. When we're yeah. going down the hill, I want to literally be like, I want one of those cop walkie talkies. Like I'm about to fucking mm. bust someone, and I want to be skiing and just reach up and be like, sunburn. This is hammer over. Where are you over? Yes. Yeah. Have you just come back over the I'm at the lodge just drinking Bloody Marys? Oh, me and me and my friends used to play a game <clears throat> called Reverse Snow Angels, where when it got really late at night, we would all go in the hot tub. <clears throat> then we would get out of the hot tub, take all our clothes off, and run in the snow and go face down naked and make snow angels. That's just God bless you for that. Great. You know what's so funny <laughs> is you tell this story, yep. and it has such a different vibe than if I told the story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's yeah, yeah. so it's so like positive. And like pure, yeah. and if I told it, I would You're have right. to slide in something about someone's balls. And yeah, it would no, just be, it would no. just ruin the yeah, whole I just, thing. I leave that to the imagination. Yeah, yeah. You know I, I mean, mean? I yeah, <laughs> I would have to go somewhere. I mean, they have to go somewhere. Do you ever? Did you do you look at the imprint when you're done? And be like, yeah, I mean, that's what you that's did. A man's imprint. <laughs> that's the whole point of it. That's a man's imprint. <laughs> See what you did. <laughs> God bless it, everyone. Well, hey, there you go. Uh let's take a Patreon question. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. how do we feel about that? Yeah, I like that. You got a good one? Uh, I do have a good one, actually. I've highlighted it, and I've got it. Madeline, Mad Exposure, says, what are the best parts of being back in the studio now that you've been there for a couple weeks? Of course, Madeline is back there, so over on Patreon, she's wrote in, and if you guys want to do the same thing, too, you guys can head over to Patreon and do that. Mikey, what are you enjoying about the studio so far now that we're back? I mean, of course, it's the camaraderie, right? I love Come being on. around everybody. Uh, my favorite part is greeting everybody in the morning. Right, like seeing you walk in, giving you the daps. I get the Gettys bros walking in. I get to say what up to them, right? But I think my favorite one right now is definitely annoying Roger. It's my favorite because Roger takes this job very else seriously, and I appreciate that. It's not like we all don't take it seriously, but Roger's on some whole nother level type serious where he puts on his headphones, and you know he's trying his best. He's cutting up a new TikTok. He's editing the Blessing Show. He's just trying to get into his workflow, and then you can just feel it. It's like... Nick with Andy, where I just smile and I lean and I look at him and I'm like, here it comes, Roger, get ready. And I'm going to poke the bear. And I just start poking, mm -hmm. right? What, what am I going to say to Roger today? What am I going to get him riled up about? Yeah. He'll go in to bay number five, just our, one of our editing rooms, and he'll hide in there. Yeah. And he knows I'm coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I he hope knows he, I'm I hope coming. He feels it. <laughs> and my main goal is like to make sure Roger feels the fun every day. Make sure he's smiling. No matter how hard the work day is, somebody's gonna make that kid smile. And they gotta, gotta make him smile. They gotta make somebody's him smile. gotta be because he's Gen Zer and is, it, we're, we're like hop skip to jump away from them. And be like, we don't smile anymore, bro. <laughs> we just take everything deadly serious, and we wear fucking <laughs> true neck sweatshirts that are so goddamn big you can cover your car in them. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love how that's what you've attached yourself to. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is Roger doesn't even wear that. No, like, no that's the does. thing. It's like anything Nick has ever thought about Gen Z, <laughs> ever, maybe anything he's heard, accurate, not accurate, it doesn't yeah. matter. It's, it's Roger see. now. It's, it's what I see in the streets. Roger. It's what I see in the streets, dude. I'm out there on the streets. In these streets, you are out the streets, dude. Well. Timothy, oh God. What, uh, give me a couple things that have been good about coming back to the studio. I mean, uh, it's the reverse of what Mike's saying. Yeah. Having the snow bike Mike energy. Have yeah, it being greeted by Mike. I always the love yams. it. Mike, Mike brings in this, <laughs> the, the, the fun. Like it's it. like. Well, let me get it up there. Get up here. Let me slap let me it. Get up there. There it is. Slap there it is. Yams. There it is, everybody. Get that uh, But there, there is an energy to Mike that sets the tone of the studio, I think. Absolutely. Where it's like, where, where are we? How much are we trying to party today? Yes. I would say the kind of funny is always on some level of party it's very rarely a zero percent party level yes you know what i mean sometimes it's on the 10 percent mm -hmm. but like there's always some mm -hmm. i will say this at any moment 
Someone here is having fun. <laughs> Definitely. Somebody better be no, having I, fun. But I lost today. At any moment, someone else was having the fucking worst day of their life. 100%. 100%. <laughs> that, that is true, too. That, that is true. Someone's in crisis with a business thing, and then someone else is like, this is awesome. Yeah. I'm enjoying this. But that's the thing. There's the give and take. And I like to hope that there's less of that, obviously. Yes. And yes. a lot more of the party vibes and the fun. And I think that Mike Mike has this ability to turn the tides. Even if you're having a bad day, mm-hmm. you can make it a good day. There's you like can a, make it a good Tim. day. There's, there's a, lot of, a lot of that, the good stuff. So I appreciate that. Uh, recently, I want to give a shout out to just being able to now use the studio, how I've dreamt of using the mm-hmm. studio for the past three years. Yeah. Like, we've been building it. We've worked so goddamn hard Very getting hard. this thing ready. Thank you. There, there we go. Done all Pop of it. that. Pop and, um, and we made a conscious decision of get in here October. Just do our best. Like, that's all we can do. Get in. Yeah. Do the launch, get the content yes. going, try to make sure that like we can at least deliver what we've been delivering as, as good as we can. And we've done that. But now that we, we had the break and we're back, we can have just a little bit more fun. We've now learned what the studio takes. And let me tell you, it takes a lot more, a lot than, more we than we wanted than I thought. it to. A lot you know more I mean? than I thought. And in some ways, a lot less. In some yeah. ways, we're, just, we're still learning. But I feel like in the last week, we've been able to have the most fun with the studio um, so far where we, we got to shoot the uh, – we can't talk about everything. Can't so about so let me say this. Okay, just so, okay. d- Don't jump in. Okay. Um, but the WWE, this is awesome. Season two we got to shoot here. Oh, yeah, you, you, uh, you shared a lot more than I thought you were going to share. Lots of that. Okay. But that was posted. That was got posted. That, or that, at that. least an episode was shot here. Um, Greg posted that. Uh, we, we shot a um, the game of the year. Um, which was absolutely incredible Super for crack. Gamescast. Just mm-hmm. Super involved. We had fun things going on in the front of the, the desk, like the wall interacting and stuff. Um, the Last of Us um, breakouts or breakdown that we just did, like having a custom set and visual look to it and like just going a little harder, having Cameron and Carter make custom uh, assets for it. Mm-hmm. The Blessing um, Show. The Blessing Show, which yeah, was like absolutely was incredible. Nasty. Roger being able to do, like do crazy editing stuff that's like using the triangularity of the jibs information to like put Wild. things onto the wall that weren't actually there like i if you guys have have seen the blessing show i need you to understand that what's happening on the wall behind him he did in post production yeah. he did that in editing it wasn't just there already which is just mind blowing but he figured that shit out and he did it mm-hmm. love that um we had the god of war thing that barrett did um uh, uh, that was last year but still dope as shit um but using the studio in like cool different new ways like that to me i think is like the most mm-hmm. most exciting thing that that's been going on in 2023 yeah and yeah. really quick before we get to you uh greg brought his dog today that was very I important missed out on that that was a big deal that dog is cute yo. it's a kilo and you there. should see that with baby bj because those have. two, they got a connection. Yeah. And it's crazy. Because I didn't think a baby that young would have a connection with a dog like that. You know? Oh, they love yeah, but think about it. Think about it. They're like way. mush. You think know, about it. If you mind. saw something that was your, your exact same size. When oh. you, were, you know what I mean? Like they're, uh, size pound for pound, they weigh exactly the same. So <laughs> that's the only thing in your life that's that's your size. Of course, you're going to be best friends with Yeah, there's two of them today. That was a special treat. Like when we get the baby BJ sighting with Jen, it's like, oh, okay, we got some energy here. And the baby just running around, right? Taking to the lab, Nick. Really taking to the lab. And I like that. I mean, you know we I mean? need, we're going to need future ranks. Future streamer. To right. get that, I mean, here's the thing, dude. This, these kids understand shit like no one else has. And Roger's out there being like, I wore my crew neck sweatshirt <laughs> backwards. I don't understand how any of that works. This kid is going to be a phenom by the time he's 12. we got to put his ass to work. Carl Jacobs is going to follow him. I like it. Oh, shit. Uh, speaking of the lab, that's one of yeah. the things that I have really enjoyed. You, me, Andy, and, and Kev getting in our Duffy in that lab. Yep. Really getting mm-hmm. the vibe going. Figuring it We've, out. Uh, pulling the curtain aside a little bit. We've had a lot of meetings where we just sit there and go, what do we really want to accomplish in Twitch? What? Yeah. And, and the number one thing is, like, how do we have as much fun as humanly possible? Mm-hmm. How do we get that vibe going with some of these bigger games and really kind of invest in that? And I think we've managed to do it, man. I'm excited to see where we're going to be, like, 12 months from now and with that. Combining that uh, with mine, I'm really excited that we're trying to play a little bit more using the studio space yeah. for some yeah. of the streams. You know, it's like we really were, were – you, we built the lab for a very specific per- purpose, yeah. and it fucking kicks ass at that. Right. Um, but – being able to kind of like do some bigger, more fun things, even if it's literally just the same things we would be doing in there, but at least we're all next to each other mm-hmm. is a lot of fun. That's why I'm excited for the kind of funny day stream we're doing on, on Friday where January we're going to be out here playing Mario together, like feeling the vibe, all looking at one TV. Mm-hmm. Like, I mm-hmm. think there's going to be there's going to be shenanigans up a show. Definitely. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. One thing I've we haven't done, yo. What's that? We haven't had the late night just Mike and Nick Call of Duty vibes in here. I mean, you know, I'm, we haven't ordered a pizza and I just know. taken over the lab. I'm waiting for it. Well, usually know? it's because you go home and you work on those yams, and then we get that late night on your show. Yo, so get this. Okay, you know, I, I made an effort back in April to go to the gym all the time. Mm-hmm. That was my goal, right? Mm-hmm. Moved here, took a little break. Now I'm back in the gym. 
Because you know me, I have no idea what I'm doing in the gym. You and I've also, I've left home base. You know, I, in my gym, I knew what I wanted to do. Now I'm at Planet Fitness. People are waiting in lines. And I'm like, no, no. I'm not waiting in lines to throw up some iron. So what am I doing? Past two weeks, five days a week, Stairmaster yeah. for one full hour. Badass. 4,500 stairs, 75 stairs a minute, 60 minutes straight. Now I'm sweating bullets. People are looking at me like I'm insane. 75 stairs a minute? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's and it's right. the best. That's incredible. It's it's a stair every three quarters of a best, second. y'all. It's the best. So I, you're into fitness, Mike? <laughs> you gonna do it? <laughs> no, no, you gonna do it? No, you won't have it. You what am I missing? It. What am I missing on the fitness? Don't thing? worry. Oh, damn, it. I, hate, I hate when I miss there's a half two a day. Two of them we got Nick on today. I hate everybody. when I miss a half a day and there's like inside oh, man, jokes dude. everywhere. I don't like that. But are like you me. into fitness? Am I? I'm not even. I'm not gonna fucking. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna get baited by this. I thought we were gonna the be last, long and back The last time I was at this <laughs> table, you asked me if I was into what was it like? Something stupid, and then it was a dick joke, and I'm not doing that ever again. Fucked it up too. We made it even funny. Oh, man, what a great time Taking being together. That's the, the biggest face. one is we're all together, and that's what matters. Right? That is like, fun. We're all together finally. We are, and we got the heat working, which is kind of huge as oh, well. So that's oh, oh, wait, yo, oh, yo, yo. Can we take a moment and give some big praise to the heat really quick? People were walking around here looking like goddamn popsicles. Blessing almost quit. <laughs> Blessing almost quit. We so for everyone that well, we'll tell everyone. So Joey, uh, Joey, I know you're listening. Yeah. Oh I'm giving you the God. option here. But I would love if you could come out and show the people your what you had to do in yeah. the coldest times. Only if you would like. Poor Only Joey. if you would like. Nick, Joey. continue. Joey uh, had two blankets. <laughs> we have two air conditioning units, two two basically units that one for the oh. studio and one for the actual office area. That's Joey. <laughs> Jesus. That is oddly yeah, accurate. That, that, that looks what Joey looked like. like. Oddly that's accurate. What Joey looked like. <laughs> <laughs> oddly accurate. Uh, for the longest time, though, our control room was so hot, we had to run the air conditioning. When it got cold, <laughs> we the air conditioning, unfortunately, we couldn't batten it off or baffle it off enough oh. in the studio. So the whole place would be like 30 degrees to the point where it was like Tim was like, I have to wear gloves because it's too freaking cold in here. <laughs> so finally, we got a little a, port a couple portable units for the, that room and the other room. So I'm having a couple issues, but we got the heat on finally, and it has been <gasps> night and day. Look at what Joey bought, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Like poncho-y thing with the hood. Um, it's maybe yeah, <laughs> every day. Just me at my desk like this, trying not to freeze my ass off. It was so cold. Uh, but honestly, one of the single best investments I've ever made. It's comfortable looking. Yeah, you look comfortable. One of these days I'll take it home. Keep it here. Who cares? You gotta have something here. <laughs> I, just, I love it's it. It's always weird when we have like. G give her the mic. Give her the mic. We have guests at the studio, and I'm just like bundled up. That little monkey. Yo, he's looking like the monkey. <laughs> the I monkey. The monkey. Is very funny. The monkey picture is that very is funny. That. Holy shit! That is shit. an incredible picture right there. I stand by it. Well, you don't you don't need the the cape anymore, Joey. But I'm glad you have it because it's really it's fashion forward. Yeah, yeah. I say. It's incredible. Yeah, I thought that was Roger for a second. I, I mean, I thought that was Roger and all of his Gen Z friends. You know, like all they, of them, they, the you, whole you get, family. You get you put Everybody them all you, you put them all in a cape and they just you know what it's like. It's like you know, those, Carl uh, Jacobs is in there. Yeah, everyone's in there. God bless him. God. <laughs> Bless him. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a fun episode. What an episode. What a vibe. Who wow. needs Greg Miller? We you know what I'm saying? We Good really job. did. We really did. And I'm it's because I missed y'all weekend. That's why. I know, man. I missed y'all weekend. I didn't get a chance. That's why I texted you like five times. Yep. Exactly. I didn't tell how many, Tim, how many times did I text you this weekend? I don't know. Exactly. You know what? <laughs> no, Nick. No, Nick. I, I need to tell the people. They need to know the fucking truth. All right? Because... A couple weeks ago, we were on this podcast talking about, <laughs> talking about, I don't even, how the fuck did we get here? I don't know. But at some point, I don't even know how to explain this. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh, you know what, Nick? Well, you just texted me, answered my question because you screenshotted it like a fucking maniac instead of just saving the image. <laughs> So and I, I, it, I can see it. the Google, the, the, what you searched to get this, which was Mons, Mons pubis. pubis. Yeah. So when we were talking about the this Mons guy. Pubis, which we didn't understand, um, there was an image that was a, 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 a scientific diagram. And then there's just an arrow pointing to the anus. And that's it. All right. Just like, a, you know, one of those little like middle school. Just in case you didn't know where your anus was, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. I exactly. Got I got you. It's covered. one of those middle school kind of um, uh, just science books, uh, diagrams. Right. Yeah. 
and um, it just says anus with a line to the anus, and it's it's just ridiculous. Nick has texted me this fucking image no less than ten times in the last two weeks. <laughs> I, just randomly the same picture over and over and over again. It keeps and it getting gets funnier. me every fucking every single time. time I do. <laughs> that is actually not what I thought you were going to say, but that's oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, <laughs> that's we'll, okay though. <laughs> we'll, well, we'll figure out the other thing later in life. That'll, that it'll dawn on you that there's something else happening later in life, and it'll be the best. <sighs> Great. Guys, this has been a really fun <laughs> podcast. I've, yeah. I've, been, I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, your guys' company. Great conversation all around. If you guys have enjoyed this, of course, make sure you subscribe over on our YouTube channel. And if you're listening to this on podcast, make sure you subscribe over there. Give us a nice little, a nice little rating. And tell a friend. Tell a friend that we bring the joy. Hey, we you got do. other podcasts out there that are all informational and shit? This not one's this not. one. This one's not. Do you need to know what your anus is? Yeah. We can help you there. Are you are you trying to get fashion forward with in, in your Duffy? Yeah. <laughs> Triple extra large uh, uh, crew neck shirts. Sure, we got you right there. If you uh, want to know about shoes, and Mike brings up Tim's, and Nick assumes Tim's means Tim's shoes, Jordans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like that. This is the show for you. It took me a solid twenty minutes to get that one through. <laughs> Figure that one out. <laughs> uh, that's it's been our pleasure to serve you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back next week with another kind of funny podcast. Don't forget, January twentieth, we'll be out there shredding the gnar of the internet uh, on Kind of Funny Day on Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games. Please check that out over there. Until next time, it has been our pleasure to serve you.